Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can save a snapshot image of your Clo creation. Um, snapshot image is basically a image or multiple images of our garment on our avatar. Um, that is a lower quality version of the render. So the two types of images we can save are snapshots and renders. In this video, we're going to be talking about snapshots, but if you want to watch how to save a render, which is a higher quality image, but does take more time than a snapshot, then I'll link to that video um, right now. The first thing that you'll wanna do before you save an image to make sure your image is as high quality as possible and that your garment looks as realistic is you will wanna to switch to high resolution mode. The high resolution mode button is right here in our 3D toolbar, but I talk about the details of high resolution mode in a different video. So if you want those details, you can watch that. But once we have switched into high resolution mode, we can go into our snapshot menu. So at the top of my computer screen, I'm just gonna click File, Snapshot, and I want to save a snapshot of the 3D window, but if you wanted to do the 2D pattern, you could do that. But I'll click 3D window, and it will ask me what I want to save my snapshot um, image name as. So I'll just type that in there, and it will automatically save as a PNG. So I'll click Save. And then it will give me this pop-up menu right here. If I only want to save one snapshot image, so um, this whatever view I have right here in my 3D window, saving that image only, then I could stay on this single tab right here and type in the dimensions that I want my image to be. Um, usually about 300 PPI is good, um, but you can change these settings however you want. You can also choose if you want a transparent background, but if you did want to see the background of your 3D window, you could uncheck that. If you have multiple colorways, which we will talk about in a different video, you could select save all colorways, and that would save one image in each different colorway you have. Or if you wanted to save it as an HTML file, you could. Once you're done with those settings, you can click save, and then whatever view you're in, in the 3D window, that's what your image will be saved as. So make sure you're navigated to that view that you want before you click save. If you wanna save multiple images or multiple views, we'll switch to the multi-view tab. And the first thing that you'll wanna do is select how many images, how many views you want to save. So right now mine's at four, but say I wanted to save three. It will update that here. And then the next thing I'll do is select which views I want my images to be. So maybe I want the first one to be this full body front view. So I'll navigate to whatever view I want in the 3D window, click the camera icon and take that picture that's saving that view. Maybe I want the next one to be a three quarter full body view. Click the camera icon to save that. And then maybe I want the last one to be just like a close up of the dress. Once I have those views saved, um, I can also adjust the settings for the size of the image, same thing as the single view. And then some of the um, settings, other options are the same as a single view too, the transparent background, colorways, HTML file. But the different one is saving separate images. If I have this selected, then it's going to save each view as its own image, as its own PNG file. And then all three of them as one image next to each other. If I don't have save separate images selected, it's only going to save all three of them next to each other um, as one PNG file. So you can decide which one you want. And then when you're happy with all of these settings, you can click save and it will automatically save them as snapshots named however you named them at the beginning of this to your Clo folder that's automatically created on your computer. When you are saving your images, you'll just wanna make sure that your 3D window is how you want it to look in your images because that will be the same way your images look. So for example, if I want my avatar hidden in my images, 
I'll want to make sure that I do that before I click save because whatever I'm viewing in the 3D window, whatever these look like here, is what my images are going to look like. So for example, I could go to my avatar display menu, that menu on top of the 3D window, and click show avatar. The shortcut for that is also shift A on my keyboard. And if I didn't want my avatar to be shown, I would want to make sure that I choose that setting before clicking save, because whatever we see here will be what our images look like. So that's how we can save snapshot images. They save instantly on your computer and are very fast, but they um, are not as high quality as renders.